following Jesus will cost you everything. It will cost you your identity. It will cost you your expression of your sexuality and what you would prefer. It will cost you the stewardship of your finances. It will cost you how you raise your children. It will cost you how you treat yourself. It will cost you everything. And I want to speak to Christians in the room for a moment. Is there an area of your life where you are refusing to let Jesus in? Hey, Jesus, I love you, but don't follow me into the ballot box. Because I just want to perpetuate whatever I think needs to be done to make the world look like the way I want it to look. Well, as a follower of Jesus, are you meant to make it look the way you want it to look, or are we meant to actually make it look the way that God intended it to look? That righteousness and justice and mercy would flow like a mighty river. That God, I want to follow you, I want eternity, but hey, we're engaged, I want to sleep with my fiance. We're pretty much married. Hey, I just, I just identify as this, Jesus. Just accept me the way I am. The last thing you want is for Jesus to accept you the way that you are. Because according to scripture, I am a sinner in need of saving. I deserve judgment. I deserve separation from God. I do not want Jesus to lead me the way that I am. I do not want Jesus to accept me the way that I am. I, will, I come to him because I need him to help me. I come to him because of my own strength. I am not enough. I wonder, where is your conscience seared? Christian, where have you gotten used to going against the teachings of Scripture and you tell yourself, it's okay, there's grace? And Paul says, my anchor, my identity, it is Christ. Where have we gotten used to doing things our way and just assumed well, God's here to bless me, so he'll understand. It makes me more comfortable. And Paul said, no, I can't live that way any longer.